what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump Dima I'm a piano music so my boy Jalen Rose was a part of the Fab Five in the 90s you know with Juwan Howard and Chris Webber and two other guys I won't mention today and I love Jalen Rose I love his game I grew up watching him play in the NBA um, he was a guy that I was I was really idolizing when he was on the the, the Pacers. Um, I like how, what Jalen Rose does, not just what he did on the court, but how Jalen Rose is as a person. And he's a really good commentator on ESPN. Now that is how he met Molly Quorum um, because they got together in 2018 and got married. Allegedly, they were already close at that time as friends. One thing led to another. Booty clapping sounds. And then there you go. They have uh, like you know, they got married and everything like that. And then you know um, it, it, it seemed to be um, you know going going good. Um, however, what what happened with with Jalen Rose's outside of this relationship with Molly in the city of Detroit because he went to Detroit public schools. He's very active in the Detroit community. Jalen Rose was doing things like with education, helping kids with schools, starting charter schools, very similar to what LeBron does. One of the criticisms that come that came behind, you know, Jalen Rose's efforts was that, okay, you're doing all of these things in the black community, but you're here with this lady, Molly Quorum, that is not representative of the black community. She grew up in, you know, in Connecticut with the rich. She was even born at Yale New Haven Hospital. So this person that you're married to is not representative of the black community. You talk about black issues. You even said that you didn't like Grant Hill uh, in college because he went to Duke and he had a privileged life. And you know you didn't like that, but, but you hated him for that. And then when you get the chance, you did the same thing that his parents did, except for both his parents, Calvin Hill and his mother were black. You go out here and you marry this lady that's white. And then on the on, then outside of that, it doesn't work out. So I want to look at this from a uh, from a black perspective because you know I know that people you know at, at the age of Jalen Rose, I know that some sisters going to be you know really happy about this, um, and I and I I, I can kind of get that I, I get where you're coming from, but I, I just want to I just want to say this: a lot of black men like Jalen Rose are going to face um, what is a very very tough choice. And I know that people say, um, you know, that black men have options to, to still be in the, in the black community. They do. But he's dealing with a woman that works with him every day, which was stupid. I fell in love, got married. And then he found out that you that you and a woman don't have a lot in common. And I want to talk about black men is that when you want to deal with the black community, you don't have a black wife. You have a non-black partner. Then when it doesn't work out. What it looks like is you're the problem. I know this going to be controversial when I say this, but I'm going to say that. And the reason why I said it is because of his public profile, of his public image. You're from a black city. Okay. You are very adamant about black issues. You marry a white lady that is from the white community or from that outside of the community, whatever she is, you're separated. Okay. What it looks like is, all right, bro. So how could you get it right? And, 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 and as a person that is from the black community, just like Jalen Rose, I also have to wonder that. How come you couldn't get this right? And the reason why is we have so many black men who, you know, I see the comments on my comment section. You know, a lot of, a lot of black men talk about, you know, hey, well, um, you, know, I, I, you know, if this is an issue, I, I got to date somebody outside of the, 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 the black community because of where I'm going, I'm elevating to a new level. And I get it, listen, I understand it. I understand that as you go to certain places, you do certain things, there are less and less black people and a lot of times less and less black women. I get it. But when you put yourself out there to help black youth and to speak on black issues and your wife isn't black and then you still can't get it right, then black women can't be held accountable for Jalen Rose not to be able to get it right. And that's called accountability, okay? And we have to call it fair on each side because if it's somebody that's a white woman or a black woman and she gets with a black man or a white man and then that woman can't get it right, let's just say like Chris Lynn Charism. 
Now, don't get me wrong. Jalen Rose doesn't go around talking about black women or anything like that, and I, I respect that. But let's just say Karis, and I'm gonna use her for an example. When she couldn't get it right, or just anybody else, or if a black woman gets killed by a white guy, then then we say, well, damn, you should chose better. Do we tell her to Jalen Rose? I say absolutely yes. Okay, and I, I I really feel that for black men, this is me personally, and I know that there's many different ways to go about this. And that's just me for my own personal opinion. I'm not telling you what to do. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna uh, deal in the black community, if you're gonna be active, like somebody like Jalen Rose is, and you marry somebody that is not black outside of the community, it better work. It better work, okay? You better make it work. Because what it's gonna show is that, uh-oh, here are these black men out here going to these other groups of women, and then they can't stay together like when black women go out there with these white guys and have a, and have longer consistencies in the marriage. That's what it's going to look like. And it goes to a personal accountability of, well, hey, you, you wanted to marry her. Well, well, what, well, what happened? Number one, I try to understand this from from uh, from people. Why are people marrying people at their job? I, I don't I don't understand it. Um, you know, with all of the sexual harassment that goes on and things like that, and obviously this is not going to work out or be in a situation, but why, why would you do that? You know, like even now, like they're still working together at ESPN. They see each other all the time and you divorce, like how, you know, how uncomfortable can that be? You know, I tell guys all the time, like, listen, some of you guys go to work just so you can get peace because you go to work and you find some, some, some solace, you know, or, or, or peace in your work. And then imagine you going to work and then there's your ex-wife at your job. Okay. I just don't understand it. All right. And, 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 and then you, you have a situation with him and stuff like that. And I mean, I, 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 I just don't get it. I think for guys who are going to do this, you get outside the black community, you, 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 you're doing things for the black community. You're going to be on a bigger spotlight like Jalen is. And people are going to have the right to criticize this, you know? He does an excellent job in Detroit, you know? But when you come from a city like your Detroit and you're on the front line in Detroit like he is, hey, I hate to say it, who you marry, it matters, all right? Who you marry matters. When you start um, investing in the black issues in the black community, like Umar Johnson, who you, whoever you marry or don't marry matters. And I think that this is, you know, this is, um, it's very interesting. And, and, and this is something that you know you can't say sisters had a hand in this because he, it was him, he chose his lady, didn't work out. And I mean, you know, what do you guys think? I know it's controversial. I know I'm gonna get a lot of you guys being hypocritical, but I don't care. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high.